Hi guys, Jason here with the One Stop How To Guys, bringing you episode 8 of Advanced Drupal Development. In our last episode, you'll remember that we had just finished up creating our product catalog overview page, and when we clicked into each of the catalogs, it just output a list of each of the products attached to that taxonomy term. Now, we left this kind of ugly, and we have this giant image on top, and the products really aren't formatted quite the way we want. Um, so we're going to change this, and we're going to clean it up a little bit. Now, in order to do this, we need to override the default taxonomy term page output that comes stock with Drupal. And lucky for us, if we come up to Structure Views, Drupal has already provided us with a way to do that, and that is with the taxonomy term view that is currently disabled in the views listing. If we enable this, and we close this down, and come up and flush the cache on our website, what we're going to see is that this giant image on the top is actually just going to go away altogether. And we're still getting the same similar output, and that's just because of how the view is initially configured. Um, but what we've done is we've actually overridden the default pages with views. So if we come in here to this view, you can see that that's what it is now. Um, there's nothing outputting down here right now because there's some contextual filter magic happening in order to output the correct items for the correct term. So we can see up in our URL that our shirts are in taxonomy term number one. So if we enter that into this box and update the preview, we're going to get all of our shirts. Now this again is still outputting the articles because of the fact that we're showing content. Um, if we come in here and we change this over to fields, and apply all that through, what you'll see is we're going to get an error because by default there are no fields that are going to be listed. So we need to add a few. The first one that we want to add is the title of the particular product as well as the body. Now we're also going to add the image and an add to cart button here, but there's one thing that we have to do in order to make that happen. So we're going to turn off the label on the body and we're going to rewrite it we are going to strip the HTML tags and trim it to, let's just say, round about 200. And we will apply that. We're going to take the label off of the title. Let's jump in here and do a little quick rearranging. And we will apply that. Now you can see that we're, we're getting a slightly different look to our product overview page. Now remember that what's being output right now is content. So what we're seeing are the product display nodes. Um, in order to actually access the other items that we need, such as the image um, and the add to cart button, we need to relate this view over to the actual products that are on our website. And in order to do that, we need to add a relationship to this view. And we can add a relationship to the referenced products. And what this is going to do is build us a link between the product display and the products that are attached to that. Now nothing's going to change down here except for the fact that you can see that we're running into some serious duplication issues. And that is because we are returning a we're returning a node for each variation of the product that we we've created so the just Drupal product has three shirts attached to it so we're returning three product displays we will correct that momentarily um, as of right now though what we want to do is we want to add the image and this image here is the one that we want to add. Now, if we did not create that relationship to the products, this particular image field would not be available to us. So we are going to grab that. And we are also going to grab the add to cart form. This also would not be available to us if we didn't create that relationship. So the add to cart form, we are going to do a couple of things in here. We are going to display the text widget and we are going to click apply. We're going to take the label off of the image. We need to tell it that we actually want to use the image from the referenced product and not the image that's on the product display um, because we don't have one. So we'll set that to medium and we won't do any linking right now. 
Let's do a little rearranging here so that our image is on top. And now if we scroll down, you can see we have our image, we have our title, and we have a nice add to cart button. Now this is gonna be really awesome for, uh, for just grabbing products and adding them to the cart on the fly. Now there is one thing that's missing here that's vitally important if you're gonna add a product to your cart. One of the things that you're gonna wanna do is add the price here so that people know how much the product is actually going to cost when they add it to the cart. Um, we don't want to leave that out because that would uh, probably not be the best thing. So let's move that up. So now that's looking a little bit better. Okay, so this method works really, really well when you have a one-to-one -one relationship. When you have one product attached to one product display, you know, we can do a lot of crazy stuff here and we can kind of make this look the way that we want. Um, but really, because we have multiple nodes attached to this, there's, there's a much easier method for us to use. And I know we went through a lot to just do what we're about to do, but I wanted to show you kind of a method as to how you can really dive deep into it using views. What we're going to do is we're actually going to come back in here to fields and we're going to switch this over to, to content again. And we're going to show the teaser. Um, and we're going to remove this relationship here. And if we scroll down, you can see we kind of have this crazy looking view back the way that it was. And again, a lot of work just to get back to where we started, but I wanted you to see how deep you could actually get into it. So to customize this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to content types, we're gonna come to the product display, and we're gonna manage the teaser fields here. And there's a bunch of stuff here, and we want to kind of do some rearranging here. Um, we are going to grab a couple of these items here, and they are gonna be the product here. We're gonna put it there. We want the add to cart form. We're gonna make sure that the label is hidden. And we are gonna display that quantity widget as well. And then we are gonna save this. Close that down. And now we're a little bit closer to what it was that we were looking to do in the beginning. Uh, the thing is, the image is still not here, so if we come back into content type, we can see here that we've added it, but there's some settings that it looks like need to be configured over on the product itself, and we need to head over to node teaser, and we need to bring that image in. Let's change that over to medium and save that out. So there we go. Now we have our image in. We do still have a label showing up and let's double check and see where that label is coming from. It's either in the teaser here or it's over in our other display setting. And I'm not entirely sure what, there it is. All right, so let's hide that. Close that down. And there we go. That's exactly what we were looking to do. We can switch over to blue and our shirt changes colors. Uh, the one thing we may want to do here is edit the actual view itself. And switch this over to a three column grid and save that out and there we go we have our products looking a lot better we have this little read more thing here that we definitely don't want either so let's check the view And it's this display links checkbox. We're going to take that off and save the view out again.
And so there we go. We have our products looking exactly how we want them to. So if we go into the store, we have our overview page where we can select the particular product type that we want. Once we're in there, we can see all of the different products that we have. Um, we can change those. So the image will change on the fly there. We can see the price, how much it's going to cost. We have our quantity. We have our add to cart. Um, the only other thing that we may want to do here is make sure that this text doesn't get completely out of control. So we're going to come back here into the manage display for the teaser. And we're going to set the body just to trimmed. And we are going to trim that down to 200. Now there is a module that will do some advanced trimming that will give you more of a views style trimming setup and we may look at that in the future but for now I think this is going to work just fine. So there we have it. We have our products. We can flip flop between them. We can go into our store and we can go to a different product type and we can see that there's no variations to our hat so we don't have any options in there. Um, the same thing should be happening with our other products as well. But when we get into the shirts, we can see that we do have the actual variation options. Um, and this is where that add to cart confirmation really helps out because we could come into the product and we could add it here and we could read a little more about it. Or we could simply add to cart and we could continue shopping. And then we could add, uh, let's come down here and change this to the green shirt. And let's add that to the cart. And now we can actually go to our cart and both of those products as well as everything else we've added um, in the past are in our cart. So that is basically how we're going to operate our product catalogs. So I know this episode was a little bit on the shorter end of things, but we got to where we wanted to be. And uh, if you like the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, follow me on all the social media networks, and I will see you in the next episode of One Stop How Two Guys Advanced Drupal Development, where we'll keep moving on with Drupal Commerce. See you guys.